Alright guys, we're, we're doing a quick one here. This mm -hmm. is... Um, a vein, she's starting to come out. She's just having a little wander around and that's rare, so we thought we'd just uh, catch it quickly while we could. She's not the most uh, conspicuous of our spiders, is she Ben? She hides quite a bit. She's created these two beautiful little web of bowls behind that uh, court bark that you can see. Not the best filming, I'm sorry about that, but there she is. So, anyway, just thought I'd show her while we could. Try and keep the camera still, there we are. Better, there she is. Pretty looking girl. Said she's got a bad, or a twisted back leg, hasn't she? Yeah, she's dislocated it. Yeah, we think she um bolted against it and uh, that warped her leg. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, gonna shut this down now because hopefully she'll come out for a little walk and she won't while the lights here. So, all right, guys. Okay, thought it was time to to make a bit of an update, and this is our the newest girl that we've got in our collection. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Look at her. She's the um, Brachypelma Baumgartini Tenai, I don't know, don't know how to say it, but she's the uh, Mexican orange beauty that we got recently. She's absolutely stunning. Hold on, she's just caught a cricket, so she hasn't been out of her log hide very much actually since we got her. She's going to need some cleaning up soon. She does a lot of uh, poos, that's for sure. A lot of jobbies. And uh, here's our other girl that we got recently. This is our uh, Mexican Mexican red leg, B. Amelia. This one actually is called Queenie, after the queen in uh, Blackadder. This one, uh, I can't remember what she's called now. I better, better check out with the, with the boys in a minute. But uh, that's those two. Rana, our very fast, beautiful, chilly... Uh, Chili Rose is out and about. She's uh, chasing a cricket, so that's really good news. I'm pleased about that. Um, um, here we have our little baby, stunning, absolutely stunning, orange bitey thing, Caitlin. That's our Mexican fire leg, Bilbo. Didn't molt very long ago, it's looking really good still. Uh, the pumpkin patch shirt is just molted and so has the Teocity Weasley um, so I'm waiting for he or she to come out of there I'm not sure when that will happen uh, who else is eating? look at this big girl eat she's gorgeous that's Razzle our Brazilian giant whitney she's gorgeous uh, here we've got we've got quite a few brackies now, haven't we? This is um this is Nacho. Thought that Nacho was male, but I'm starting to wonder now. I'm hoping not. That would be fab if that was the case. We've got a few uh, that have gone to ground. The skeleton. The, uh, I missed the blue fangs malt. Oh oh, that's good news. Um, thought he'd given up eating, but that's. Webster on Green Bottle Blue, he's just caught a cricket, which is good news. Um, like a lot. This is the Golden Knee, Vara. She's just eaten. She's looking good now. She's starting to get her feet adult colours. Uh, oh, look, here's, the, here's our King Baboon, he's eating. That's uh, King Joyce. His little Ico, I don't know, it looks like he's making another sperm web. It's made about four or five, it's been unbelievable. I put a cricket in for him as you can see, but I don't know he's going to eat it. Doesn't look like it. Hold on. There's uh, there's a Singapore blue there. That's, uh, I don't know if you can see, yeah, there you can see. It's not great, but you can get you can get an idea. That's uh, uh, Sonic. And uh, we're going to have to rehouse him or her. Got to come out of there. Not looking forward to that at all, but it's got to be done. Yeah, okay, guys, so have a look at the underneath of uh, Ra. Just waiting for him to spam web. That's what we're waiting for. So, as soon as that happens, he'll be going off to breed. Talk about stroppy, eh, Ben? Huh? Talk about stroppy. Look at that, look at that 
Oh, the Emperor Scorpion there, Marcus. He's a stroppy boy, isn't he? Huh? We've got a different video. Yeah. Yeah, Ben's brushing his teeth at the moment. That's what that sound is. He's... Okay, I'm going to put a spider video on because we did a couple yesterday. Today, but um, just as a catch up, really, and an update. And at the moment, I'm chilling with Garth. Here we are, chilling with Garth. It's been a bit of a crap night, really, because poor old Math was ill. With Garth, guys. Yeah, I'm chilling with Garth. And I feel sick. Yeah, poor old Math was sick last night. It was not very good. So we've all had a bit of a, we've all had a bit of a dodgy old night, really. But anyway. We're out at the moment with this beautiful girl, and I just want to try and get you a headshot of her because she's just utterly gorgeous. Look at that. She's got orange eyes, amber coloured eyes. And I'll tell you what, I'd like, I was thinking about this, I'd like actually to breed her at some point. So, I don't know if there's any Brooks Kingsnake male owners out there that would like to breed, but we're pretty sure she's a girl. Anyway, hopefully she's a girl. She's very big, and she's very nice, and pleasant, and friendly, and that. Uh, see? Yeah. When we got her, there was, a, as we said, there was a little bit of uh, suspicion about her, that she was, uh, she was aggressive, but she's not remotely aggressive, actually, is she? She's not aggressive at all. So this is one of my favourite Sunday pastimes, this. Chilling with Garth. She's having a good old slither about. It's funny, really, because she, she obviously heads for dark, enclosed spaces. So she's heading under Steve's uh, tank. Actually, I might show you Steve while we're here. This is Steve, our... Oh, I don't know if you can see. There he is, look. This is Steve, our two-legged bearded dragon. There. I don't show him very often, but uh, he's a lovely boy. 